Welcome to week number seven of the Duran Bengals Dynasty. I'm your host, SCP, and we're back for another Durand game. We're taking on the Miami Ohio Red Hawks as they come in. 99th in passing yards. As you can see there, Mitch Leidner hyping up Jamil Rosario as we have the all blue uniform look. They have the new red helmets and their new jerseys. I think that looks pretty sick for them. It's going to be a definitely a good Mac matchup here. Let's get right into it. MJ Cochran is deep, and this one's underway here from Duran, Minnesota. Memorial Stadium is livid and loud. Cochran will return this one past the 20, past the 30 to the 35, 40, 45, and he's pushed out of bounds by the kicker after a 48-yard return. Redshirt freshman quarterback Joshua Sims is finally back from his injury. He had a strange shoulder, and he'll keep it on the read option for his first play back. A 15-yard run there for Duran. Now we go in that diamond package. Sims rolling out here on first and 10. He's looking good so far. He's going to run with it again, and he'll get hit out of bounds after an 11-yard run there from Joshua Sims. Freshman out of Twinsburg, Ohio, is already looking good for us. He'll throw it into coverage, and that one's deflected. That would be deflected by Joshua Allen, number two on the defense, the junior out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Jimmy Orsario will get a little five-yard rush there, redshirt sophomore, and that makes it third and five. Sims out over to the tight end, Seth Chapman, and he's pushed out of bounds after a gain of three. Just shy of the first down marker. So Akeem Clement will put three through the field goal uprights. And Gus Raglan, the redshirt junior offensive captain, gets sacked in the first play as he leads Miami out onto the field. A loss of seven there. Second and 17 for the Red Hawks. Bringing pressures, Victor Campbell from the outside. I'll have to chuck it over the middle edge. Jared Murphy, the redshirt senior out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Or out of Columbus, Indiana, sorry. And now it's 3rd and 10 for the Red Hawks. Bringing pressure is Victor Campbell. Forced to throw it off his back foot over to Alonzo Smith, the star Red Hawk. And he gets the first down. I can't believe it. He had four men in front of him, and he breaks through all of them. A first down for Miami. A great run there from Alonzo Smith. I'll throw it over to Jared Murphy again, and he's hit hard. That would be by number 20, Ty Brothers, the corner at Beachwood, Ohio. Rolling out is Ragland, and Brockett breaks down. I'll throw it over to Martin. And there's a little... Five-yard game there for Sam Martin. Second and five is a handoff over to Alonzo Smith. He's a patient runner, much like Le'Veon Bell. He breaks through a nine-yard run there for the first down for Miami of Ohio. These are two pretty good MAC teams. Here's a handoff up the middle again to Smith. Nobody's in front of him. Kareem Malloy will bring him down after a gain of 20 from Alonzo Smith. Stopping a guy of his caliber is going to be tough today. i will throw it over the middle. Iacoa Lopez gets the tackle. A combination of Ty Brothers and Ikoa Lopez. A gain of five there. A little read option. Raglan will keep it himself. Damian Peters comes back on it. And a nice open field tackle for Damian Peters. But a first down for Miami as they are rolling down the field early. First and ten for Raglan. A little handoff over to Lopez. He's getting the ball early and often. Or not Lopez. Smith, sorry. As Alonzo Smith gets a gain of seven there to bring up second and three. First down's pretty much a touchdown. So second and three. He'll give it to Smith again, and he gets brought down. Ayakala Lopez. What a hit there from Ayakala Lopez. Obadiah Russ, can he get him? No, he can't. Touchdown, Alonzo Smith. The running back pitch worked per to perfection. Touchdown, Miami, and they're up 7-3 to three early. As you can see here, the blocks fit up perfectly in the safety. Obadiah Rouse, who was the last option, couldn't bring him down. Durant's back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Sims will throw it over the middle to Marcus Tyree, the big wide receiver. An 11-yard gain for the first down there for Durant. First and 10 is an outside run over to Jamil Rosario. He gets a loss of four. Brought down in the backfield. And here's a handoff up the middle. Jamil Rosario, he gets a gain of four. The running back hope to have a big game today. Third and 10 here at the start of the second quarter. Sims looking over the middle. of five. Marcus Tyree, a big first down gain there. 18 yards down the middle of the field. And Durant is starting to drive again. A big 13, a big third down gain there, and Joshua Sims is 32 yards in the air today. McCarthy in motion, is the outside run to Rosario. Trying to break to the outside, he gets a nice gain of seven there, and that'll bring up second and three. A really nice run there from the Bengals. 
and then I hand up the middle to Rosario, and seeing that one from the start was Joshua Allen. He's had a great game so far, and he broke that run down. Third and five will throw a little screen pass out to Rosario. He's just shy of the first down marker, and that brings up fourth and inches. It's too far for Akeem Clement, so we'll go for it here on fourth and inches. In the motion, it'll be the fullback Singletary. Here's the run over to Rosario, a late handoff, and he gets the first down. A gain of six for Rosario. We only needed one, but he gets six. A nice job for Rosario there to convert. First and ten for Durant. Stepping back is Sims here on first and ten. He's going to look towards the sideline. A nice grab for Benny Phillips. We didn't call his name at all last week, and we're not calling it that much this week. We're going to need to target both him and MJ Cochran more. We'll give it to Cochran on the jet sweep on the next play. He doesn't really get much there, but just giving him the ball is a little bit better than not. So second and nine, a little read option look. Sims will keep it himself, a spin move, which is unnecessary, but he breaks away from the tackle ends up picking up five there. And I like this all-blue uniform combo for Duran. I think it works well with that. Third and four will throw it over to Alexander Mason. I'm not sure how that's not a touchdown. Again, a seven for the senior, and he'll be at the one-yard line. Jamil Rosario here in this fullback package. He'll get a touchdown, Jamil Rosario. A zero-yard touchdown run somehow, but that'll put Duran up in this one, 10 to seven. Gus Ragland and company back onto the field for the Miami Red Hawks. First and 10 for them. The only man there will be Smith. They'll give it a delayed handoff to him. There goes Alonzo Smith. Nobody's in front of him. Oh, but Dyer Rouse, does he have the speed? Yes, he does. He'll bring him down at around the three yard line. First timeout called from Miami as there's 128 left. Campbell went for Ragland. Reggie Archer can't beat him to the outside. And then it'll be a touchdown pass as that was actually a forward pass to Smith. Touchdown Miami of Ohio as they're up 14 to 10 here in this one. Stepping back is Sims. He's going to roll out here on first and 10. He's just going to throw it away. Well, that actually hit off of the face mask of the big defensive lineman, number 90, Dean Lemon. Throw it over the middle to Marcus Tyree again, a 9 there, and the clock is ticking. Third and 1. There's a little handoff to Jamil Rosario. He'll get the first down and a little bit more. Again, a 7 there for Durant. They're driving down the field here. First and 10. Durant, all three timeouts to use. Rolling out of Sims on first and 10. He'll find Marcus Tyree, but he hits him in the face mask. Our Durand wide receivers have had problems with this all year, running and not being able to catch the ball. This one's intercepted. Oh my goodness, that's Cedric Asai. One minute beat. That's the captain coming. He can't get him. Bowser can't get him. A pick six for Miami. Cedric Asai. What a play from the corner. The red shirt sophomore at Alithia Springs, Georgia. What a play. Miami, a huge turnaround play right there, and I cannot believe what just happened. They were up 14 to 10, now they're up 21 to 10. Stepping back at Sims, the shotgun's breaking down, and he fumbles it! Lemon picks it up, and there's nobody in front of him except Jamil Rosario brings him down from behind. What a play from Dean Lemon. Miami, Ohio's second turnover in a row, forced. I cannot believe this. Sims has had such a perfect game. Has two bad plays, and now Miami, Ohio has a chance to go up big at the half. Throw it over to Gardner. Touchdown, James! Gardner, the junior out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The star on offense for this Miami team. His first reception is a touchdown. Now, Duran desperately needs a touchdown. I'll throw it over the middle. That one's almost intercepted. The intended receiver was Alexander Mason for the Bengals. Second and ten. Stay back is Sims. He's looking for something. He'll just throw this one away. Had nobody open. Cedric Asai brought pressure there again, and Miami's played great defense so far at the end of this second, at the end of this first half. Stay back is Sims on third and ten. He'll throw it to the sideline and a great grab there from Marcus Tyree, 13 yards and a first down. We're going with a little trips look here on first and ten. Stepping back is Sims. He has MJ Cochran wide open. A foot race to the end zone. MJ Cochran he dives in. For extra measure, 62 yards down the field to MJ Cochran, one of our best players on offense, and we found him wide open there. His speed is so elusive, it's hard to stop him. So we'll watch this one one more time. Sims throwing it deep. The corner did not even have a chance of his Heath Harding, the red shirt senior, actually, out of Inglewood, Ohio. And Sims just threw it up, and MJ Cochran made a great play. The true freshman with the play there. Obadiah Ross trying to bring pressure. Ragland here on first and 10, the end of the half. This one's intercepted by Roger Wiley. Wiley trying to bring it back. He's brought down by the offensive lineman. He tries to pitch it back. But we forced the turnover going into the half, so we have a little bit of momentum. But Miami of Ohio is up 28-17 as we trail at the half. As we go into the halftime show, down by 11. Can Durant pull off a second half comeback? Here we are. 
at the halftime show. Durand has played pretty well so far. Our offense has had a couple of key turnovers to end the first half, which put us down 28-17. to Our defense needs to stop these big plays, not only by Alonzo Smith, but by Gress Ragland in the air, as if he's, they throw these little short passes, which end up getting into 10 or 20-yard gains. And I think Miami's a very good team on the offensive side of the ball. Like I said, Alonzo Smith, a power and speed back, much like Le'Veon Bell. As we start the second half with Miami with the ball. First and 10 for Gus Ragland and Alonzo Smith. They'll hand it off to Smith here. He breaks away from a pair of tacklers. He's still on his feet. There goes Alonzo Smith. Oh my goodness, Kareem Malloy, does he catch him? Yes, he does. But 66 yards, Alonzo Smith. He's had a lot of, he's caused a lot of trouble for defenses in this couple of weeks. Last week he had a great game as well. And I think Miami has a chance to really make some noise here in the MAC Conference this year with plays like with players like Laura Alonzo Smith and Gus Ragland. First and ten for Ragland. He's rolling out. He's trying to find something. He'll scramble now. Can avoids a couple of tackles. Gets again and on and slides down for to bring up second and one for the Red Hawks. Second and one, they'll give it to Smith. And Obadiah Rouse can't bring him down, but I call Lopez can! And Alonzo Smith is hurt after that one, and he would not return for the rest of the ballgame. Third and two, the backup back is now Kenny Young. Ragland keeps it himself, touchdown Miami! 35 to 17 now, the Red Hawks lead Durant. I cannot believe this one. Alonzo Smith goes down, and now Gus Ragland's in the team, putting it on his back. What can Joshua Sims do here the following drive? Hand off over to Jamil Rosaro. He's brought down after a loss of one there. Second and 11 here for the Bengals. A little read option. Sims will keep it himself, and he is slammed down on that right throwing shoulder, something you cannot let Miami do to your quarterback after he was out for three weeks with a strained shoulder. Third and 14 for Sims. He's trying to roll out, trying to break the pocket. He's not finding anything. He'll throw it, and Corey Martinez drops it. He was wide open. And he cannot come up with it. That would have been a first down. But instead, we have to send on Jimmy Newton to punt it. And now it's first and 10 for Miami. Kenny Young will get it here. Reggie Archer misses the tackle. The defensive captain. Obadiah Rouse misses the tackle. And Ivan Hawley finally makes Kenny Young fall down after a gain of one, which should have been a loss of four at the most. Ends up getting a gain of one on the play. Ragland over the middle, Young now. And what a hit put on there. That's Ayakola Lopez. He's had a great game so far. We've said his name a lot. Now it's third and three for Miami. A handoff up the middle of Young and a loss of one there. And that'll force Miami to punt the ball away to Durand. It'll be Durand ball here as we get another nice stop. And it'll be first and ten for the Bengals. A touchdown here would be really nice for Joshua Sims. He's throwing it deep over to Corey Martinez. This pass is deflected and incomplete. And to the receiver would have been Corey Martinez, like I said. Second and ten will give a little keeper over to Jamil Rosario. That'll be a first down after a gain of 12 for Durand. And we're driving down the field now as we've had a couple of nice plays in a row. First and 10 here for the Bengals. Play action, rolling out of Sims. He's going to try to find Corey Martinez, the comeback route. He gets it to the 40 and pushed out at around the 46-yard line. A big gain there for Corey Martinez, the sophomore out of Steubenville, Ohio. Read option keeper for Sims. He's going to go, and he gets a gain of eight there. Joshua Sims has had a really good game so far for the Bengals. Second and two, rolling out of Sims. He stays in the pocket. He'll throw it over. Marcus Tyree can't make the catch. That was great defense by Joshua Allen as he's had a great game all day today. Not Allen. That was actually Junior McClellan, sorry. Or McMullen, a junior out of Oak Park, Michigan. We're sorry, he gets again a nine for the first down for Duran. First and ten, stepping back as Sims in the pocket. And he is sacked. Sacked for a loss on the play. That was number 96, Natra Wick, the junior out of Richmond, Indiana. Little play action for Sims. He's trying to roll out, and there's nobody on the right side of the field. Running is Sims. He'll be at the first down, and he's brought out at around the six-yard line. What a run there for Joshua Sims as he's had a day so far to remember. First and goal for Durant. He'll keep it up the middle. Jamil Rosario, touchdown Durant. A six-yard run for Rosario, and he's had a lot of touchdowns today. I think that's his third of the day. And that'll put Durant up 20, or that'll put Durant down only 24 to 35 now. Only down by 11. Ragland stepping back, he'll throw it over to the sideline, over to Smith. Smith is pushed out of bounds after a gain of six. 12 seconds left here in the third quarter. Clock running down, this will be the last play of the third quarter. We're stepping back as Ragland will throw it over the middle, over to Kenny Young. Reggie Archer, the defensive captain, putting a hit on him. 
And now to start the fourth quarter, they'll be facing the student section in the band, trying to drive down the field. Can Gus Raglan put this game away? The handoff to Kenny Young. Damian Peters can't, can't bring him down, and he's finally pushed down after a gain of four. Second and six for Miami of Ohio. Gus Ragland and Kenny Young are in the backfield. We'll give a little delayed draw over to Young. Lopez can't bring him down. Ivan Holly finally can after a gain of six, and it is now third and inches for Miami. Third and inches with six minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Stepping back is Ragland. He'll throw it. Gardner makes a great catch. That was a clutch play from James Gardner, a four yard reception for the junior. First and ten now for Miami. First and ten, Ragland a little delayed run again to Young. Oh, Young pushing his way forward after a gain of eight for Miami of Ohio. Second and two now for the Red Hawks. What can Gus Ragland do here for this offense? He'll keep it himself on the keeper. Ivan Hawley can't bring him down. He's still on his feet, and he's finally pushed down after a gain of 16 there for Gus Ragland. He's had a great day today, and this great day continues. Even without Alonzo Smith, this offense is still running perfectly. First and 10 will throw it over to Hudson. That'll be Chris Hudson, the redshirt junior. He gets a gain of three. Second and seven now for Miami. In the backfield will be third string running back as will throw it over to Martin. And Reggie Archer puts a hit on him. Sam Martin gets laid out on his back. A gain of nine for the first down, but Reggie Archer laid a lesson to him. As this Durant team is getting a little bit upset laying these big hits on Miami. First and 10 for Miami. Little speed option on Kenny Young will keep it himself. Ty Brothers the only man to beat. Young is pushed out around the two-yard line, an 18-yard run there. The speed option play for Gus Ragland, and that play worked perfectly for Miami as it is first and goal for the Red Hawks. First and goal for Miami of Ohio. They'll give it to Young to the outside. Ayakoa Lopez tackles him, but he gets into the end zone. He falls forward for the touchdown, and now it's 42-24, to and Durand is getting slaughtered. Can we start a comeback now? Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Stepping back is Sims. He's going to air this one long to Marcus Tyree. That one's deflected. Travion Banks. And Duran's lucky that one didn't get picked off. Second and ten here for the Bengals. What will Joshua Sims do here with four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter? He is sacked on the play. Sacked by linebacker Junior McMullen, the junior at Oak Park, Michigan. Third and 20 for Duran. Throwing a deep. Corey Martinez is wide open. Stays on his feet, a 44-yard gain for Corey Martinez, the sophomore number 35, and Joshua Sims found him wide open. Put the ball right on the money, and that's something that either Clark Lee or Eddie, or Eddie, or third string could either do, as they both had a lot of trouble. Eddie Simpson, Eddie Sampson, and Clark Lee both had a lot of trouble throwing the ball right on the money. Bowser, what a catch! Kevin Bowser to the end zone, 20 yards into the end zone, and that makes it 42 to 31. Sims threw a little jump ball, and Bowser went up onto the top shelf and caught this one. What a catch there for Durant. Play after play, they're staying in the game, and they're going to go for two now. Sims rolling out. He can't find anybody open. He's going to try to step back and try to make a play, but he fumbles it. Lemon picks it up. Can he return it for two? Bowser trying to tackle him. He's not going to have the speed, but Jamil Rosario's hustling. Rosario finally brings him down at around the five. So no two points for Miami, but they will get the ball after a kick for Durand and a five-yard run there for Kenny Young. Second and five for Miami. He had enough over the middle to Kenny Young. That'll be a gain of five, and he's still on his feet. 15-yard gain there. And now there's under two minutes remaining here in this one as Miami, if they get another first down, I can pretty much count this game over. They'll give it to Thomas, the third-string running back. I have a Doba Rouse, a 11-yard run for Maurice Thomas. As Ibadou Rouse can't bring him down. And now this ball game is pretty much over. Here's a hand off to Kenny Young. He cuts up the field again to six. And we're not going to use our timeouts as we don't think we have a chance to stop him. And this ball game will be over if they get the first down here. Hand off up the middle to Kenny Young. And the game is over. Miami will hold on and win this one. They will run one more play. No, they won't actually. They just win the ball game. 42 to 30. Duran falls. A Mac loss for them. That's huge for them. Their first conference loss ever as a team. And Alonzo Smith, 189 yards and two touchdowns. The rest of the team had 192 yards and three touchdowns. What a game from this Miami Red Hawks squad. Gus Ragland and Alonzo Smith both led them in this ball game. Alonzo Smith is player of the game. And Duran falls again, time again and again as we lose, as we actually lose our second straight game, NC State and now Miami. 
I think those two turnovers at the end of the first half really cost us this ball game. Miami with their pick six and then the fumble which gave them the ball at like the five yard line. That was really crucial for us as a team as we couldn't really battle back after that. Thank you guys for watching this game. Now let's head over to the studio for some recruiting in a week eight matchup. Well, here we go. Now we're here back with some recruiting and a week eight preview against Buffalo. First, let's look at some guys that committed after the Miami game. Guys that did actually commit after the Miami game. Jake Long sadly committed to Central Florida. Ryan Clement committed to Kansas. But Tyler Jackson, the three-star corner out of Mattoon, Illinois. And Curtis Jones out of Egan, Minnesota, the 167th ranked wide receiver. A three-star recruit, Curtis Jones. They both commit to Durant. So obviously they're both good pickups for us. And guys that we definitely want these upcoming weeks will be Pat Baker, Todd Leak. A guy that's already visited. And we definitely need these guys to commit to really keep our team going. As we're going to scout the rest of him. He's actually a bust than we thought he was going to be. But we look at Pat Baker here. He is not a bust. That's a guy that we need. Pat Baker, 70 overall. And it looks like we are going to have a fight with Air Force till the very end. Watch out for this offseason recruiting. He's definitely going to be a guy that we're going to fight for. Other guys that we definitely need will be Tony Matthews at a new... I'd actually not New Dakota, North Dakota. Man in North Dakota is a three-star athlete. We're going to scout him up a little bit. He's actually a, a 61 overall, but it's still a good addition to our team. Fred Ray, definitely another good guy, a center. We definitely like these offensive linemen committing to our team just because they're... I, I just like offensive linemen in general. And losing a lot of these senior offensive linemen on our team will be big to pick up guys like him. Now let's go over to Week 8 for a preview against Buffalo. In week number eight, we'll be taking on the one and five Buffalo Bison. Kirk Herbstreit picks us to win. Buffalo has a better offense, or has a better defense in overall, but we have about the same offense. They are ranked higher in rush offense, to end their defense is also better than ours. But if you look at their schedule so far, they have lost to some pretty bad teams. Florida Atlantic, Boston College, they got blown out by. Boise State, they got blown out by. Last week, Western Michigan, they got blown out by. So we actually have a ranked win on our schedule right now. And we did lose to one of our ranked teams. Obviously, we didn't beat Western Michigan while they were ranked, but they're ranked right now. So that was a good win for us. So we'll be taking on Buffalo this week. The week following will be at Central Michigan, then at Bowling Green versus Northern Illinois versus BYU versus Akron, and then to end out the season at Ohio. So this will be a couple of good games coming up against Buffalo and Central Michigan. Tune into those. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you and goodbye.